this channel, I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. CNN has done something new that caught my eye on June 2nd. And the thing that caught my eye is that CNN updated their graphics. And when I saw this, I immediately fell in love with it. So I'll read some information about this now. On the 43rd anniversary of its launch, CNN has introduced a clean and modern new look for its insert graphics design to be add flexibility in how viewers get information. The update, which is the first complete overhaul for the network in about a decade, brings in such elements such as rounded corners, subtle gradients and shadows, new locations for various information, and a cleaner approach to typography. Typography. At first glance, a new look has retained many of the basic elements of the previous design. White banners, a CNN bug in the lower right corner, and a red flag and an end cap on the far left. However, close examination shows these elements have been all been refined in their own way. The white background previously completely bent. Now sports a subtle shadow that appears where it meets other on-screen elements, including the red cap and flag. In addition, the white rectangle has gained a rounded corner in the upper right with 90 degree angles still used on all other points. The red flag is still tucked neatly behind the white bar, but also has a rounded corner in the upper left giving it the appearance of a tab. Like before, the space can be used for both topical and franchise labels. An additional dark gray tab can be inserted to the right of this and is typically used to showcase the name of the programming area. This was previously located below the bug. The program name sometimes moves to the lower left of the screen when no white lower third is used. The network's iconic logo still remains in the lower right of that of the screen inside of a white box that, when shown alone, has a rounded upper left corner as well. When a banner is inserted, however, the box, mer the bo box merges with the adjacent white background. While this approach creates an overall cleaner look, it also slightly de-emphasizes the network logo, though it also feels a bit more integrated with the package below the logo. CNN can insert the word live in red letters that slowly pulsate. If the light bug is not used, the entire logo moves down slightly so it's centered vertically in the white space. Previously, a live bug could be inserted at the top. At the top, the logo bug box with an additional bar below used to display the current time and stock market information. Both of those pieces of information are now in the lower left of the screen next to the leopard style ticketer which sticks which sits inside of a dark gray box with a gradient background running 
along the bottom of the screen. This element does not directly butt up against the primary banner above. It features rounded corners in the lower left and right to help distinguish between the ticketer and the text, the, t the ticketer text and time, and market elements. Each headline is prefaced with a right pointing chevron. The network also redesigned its locator lines. These appear in a similar dark gray gradient with a rounded end on each on one side. Multiple tiers can be stacked on top of each other as needed with a slight space between. These elements can be inserted into the upper portion or of either side of the screen giving information such as the location and local time of a live shot. The same concept is also used to label non-live video, including file and recently acquired clips, as well as credits on imagery obtained from third parties or affiliates. CNN has also made key updates to how text is displayed, pulling back a bit from both the weight and size of the text in its primary banners. This change lets the network feature more text without having to squeeze text to fit, something TV news fails fit them to all too often. There is also the option to spread out banner text across two lines which offers significant aesthetic and clarity advantages. More thirds identifying on-screen talent or interviewees no longer appear below the headline, instead taking over the entire banner with the option for either a single line or double line for when a name and title or other identifying information is needed. This change makes a bit more sense visually because it means the text identifying the person on screen is now more directly adjacent to the person's face instead of being separated, somewhat awkwardly, by a line of text. The quick animated effect used to insert the identifier below the headline causing the ladder to scoot up a bit. It's now gone as well. Another, another move that helps improve clarity in the banners. The new design, meanwhile, still uses animation when switching between various on-screen text elements largely in the form of a brief side-to-side -side red block that covers the white part of the banner, as shown in the slowed-down animation above. There are also instances where town lower thirds, including ones identifying multiple anchors, appear without the red flag, so the dark gray show title container takes over the role adding a dark gray cap to the far left. This typically happens near the top of the shows when no specific topic is being discussed. There is also a variation of the lower third banners that allow for a branded element to appear on the far left of the right rectangle. Additional information can be placed to the right side to the right of this on either one or two tiers, with the option to have smaller text on the second one. Second, select segments such as sports can also include sponsored messaging inside the white banner. Much of the on-screen typography no longer appears in bold where in bolder variations of the networks this so seen in sans font, a change that greatly reduces the visual weight of text 
especially when, as is inevitable, the screen is forced to feature a substantial number of words. Overall, CNN's updates delivers significant improvements, increasingly readability and reducing clutter. Moving time and market box to the lower left and separating it from the bug is perhaps a bit odd since it feels like it belongs next to the word live and the logo, though it's likely one of those changes that will become less obvious as time goes by. A dark gray tab typically used for the show name often competes with the red flag element for visual dominance. Despite the difference in color when there is a smaller amount of text in the red area and a longer show title, the dark gray tab tends to carry a bit more visual weight than it should. It's also interesting how this tab appears in front of the red one, something that is indicated visually with the shadow effect and slight bit of red that goes behind the upper left rounded corner of the dark gray element. Speaking from a hierarchical standpoint, it could be argued that the show title is secondary to the topic being discussed, meaning the dark gray tab should be hit behind the red run, making this element a slightly lighter shade of gray could have also helped take a bit of the visual weight off while still allowing the network to fulfill its needed to ensure the show branding is prominent. Most of these quirks, however, are minor and forgivable given efforts to clean up the Cyphergraphy elsewhere. CNN has not, as of yet, updated any of the graphics for its individual programs, which includes opens, backgrounds, full screens, or other elements. It's n- not clear, immediately clear, if there are plans to revamp these, though many of them arguably look a bit dated up against the insert look. Many of these graphics, including the ones used both on screen and on set during the recently launched scene in New Central, feel a bit jarring when compared with the new insert style. While there is some argument to be made that each show's identity should stand out, the idea of two design, different design approaches create a sense of inconsistency. CNN CEO Chris Litt, who has overseen the launch of New Central and CNN this morning, both of which have looks that are a bit inconsistent with the new insert look, announced a new look with a, along with a new image campaign and a memo to employees. The graphics have slight variations with a different logo bug being used for newscasts on cast on HLN reading CNN on HLN as it did before. CNN International is no longer reversing the bug with a red background and knockout white logo, instead having the same layout as domestic beat. So my thoughts on this new graphics look is that it's very clean. It's much more modern in today's era of the 2020 decade. I'm glad they changed it on June 1st, which is CNN's biggest achievement in television history as they officially retired the old graphics look, which aired for the last time on May 31st. And as I said before, I immediately fell in love with it. So great job to the graphic design workers at CNN 
for putting together a great clean graphic. Thank you.